Good Saturday morning. Yes, happy Saturday blessings. This is my weekly grocery haul. And let's start over here today. So we were down on peanut butter. We did this as a Walmart pickup order. For the past two weeks, I have been doing Walmart delivery, which I enjoy, but I didn't feel like, since both of us were off work and I have, uh, have you, and you have to pay for that pickup, and it's like uh, $20 extra, I decided we can get up and go get our groceries <laughs> today. So, here, I'm restocking a lot of things. I have um, Jif peanut butter, and this week I'm making spaghetti for meal prep. So I have two <coughs> Classico grow, um, spaghetti sauce. It's early. I haven't had any coffee, and I'm having a little <laughs> problem stocking. Um, restock of my yellow rice for meal prep back here. We have some um, half and half uh, spring mix salad. Been into salads a lot this past few weeks. I have some tuna here. Have three cans of tuna for tuna salad for lunches. Some paper plates. Have two um, bottles of organic apple juice. My men love apple juice. That's their special treat for drinks. <laughs> we have some croissants here. And we're trying something different. <coughs> Excuse me. Some uh, body armor um, sports drink here. That is in the fruit punch flavor. I'll let you know how that tastes. Some LaCroix. And for the water and the LaCroix, I have two other ones. I just didn't put them up here. But I, w I got down. I was getting really low on my water. I put my last case of water in the refrigerator. So <laughs> I had to stock up on some water. And we're probably going to go to Sam's. We never went last week. So um, aluminum foil. I was getting low on that. Here's some non-edible items that are here. We've got fish oil, some gain detergent, dish detergent spray. I haven't tried the gain yet. I'll, I always use Dawn, but uh, we're going to give it a try. Heard some good things. Some Clorox wipes. I use those for cleaning and, of course, sanitizing things because we're still on that sanitizing thing. <laughs> I think I think Clorox and Lysol was in a ploy with this COVID thing and got us hooked on their stuff. Um, up top, have some organic smooth move tea, and it makes you move. I, that's all I need to say is it's a smooth move tea. This is my first time trying this, but I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talking about how good it is and it's healthy, and someone at church mentioned it, so it's a good smooth move. Um, up top here, have some cream of mushroom soup restocking the pantry. I was getting low on my Pam spray, so I got some Pam olive oil spray for cooking and baking and so forth. Some sharp cheddar cheese, we were low on that. A, I have a Brita pitcher, so I got another one of those. Uh, I have that in the refrigerator. This Bob Rob's backstage popcorn. Never tried it. Looked interesting, so I'm gonna try. I love sweet and salty. Gonna try that. Here we have some um, local grown honey. That's yummy. My family loves this on just putting on bread and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But my main use for this honey is in my oatmeal energy balls that I make weekly for us. We have some honey butter here. That's for bread and so forth, whatever needed. Some feta cheese for salads. Some nature's own fig bars, of course, my son's weekly stash. 
we have bread we and they have our regular bread in stock again so we got the Sara Lee bread the specialty kind and the regular honey wheat and of course can't forget about my little little squirrels outside we got some peanuts for the squirrels um, some cheese it snaps some movie theater popcorn this is our favorite popcorn for movie watching and snacking at night some white american craft cheese for sandwiches and burgers some regular cheese it snacks some eggs for the chicken salad chicken salad and tuna salad that i make weekly and carrots for snacking we have smoked sausage here, the skinless kind. We got some turkey sticks sausage for, and all of this is the, the, the sausage thing here is for snacks. And chicken apple organics uh, sausage that I, I make sometimes with stir fries. So that's just restocking the, the freezer. Some noodles here, great value. Uh, spaghetti noodles for my spaghetti for meal prep mixed veggies some broccoli and back here the turkey ground turkey I got three of those and one of these and I also have some in the refrigerator but I always like to have extra um, making spaghetti because sometimes it cooks down more than other times and I like my spaghetti meaty <laughs> Some Holy Grail Belvita snacks. I don't buy these often because they are addictive. So we try to stay away from too much sweets, but they are very good. We have some um, red and green grapes here. Our usual for sandwiches, spicy chicken, Tyson spicy chicken patties. And my son's pepperoni bites that he likes to snack on and then we have my natural smuckers peanut butter I want it crunchy but for some reason they are never have the crunchy and this is for uh, this peanut butter I use in my uh, oatmeal balls and that is uh, it right now this was close to $300 worth of groceries yeah I know <laughs> We're not going to talk about the prices. The Lord blesses us to be able to afford it, and I'm pleased with it, so I'm not going to complain, but um, happy Saturday, folks. What are you doing that's fun this Saturday? We're going to go shopping, looking for a new rug for our living room that will match everything, um, and may look at some refrigerators. I have I have a working refrigerator. My refrigerator works very well, but it doesn't match my other appliances, as you can see. This refrigerator has been with us since we <laughs> we bought this house, and it's one of the oldies. She works like a charm. She's beautiful. She works. She get, she gets it done. And I always remember that meme that I, that codes over uh, Facebook every now and then that this re these type of refrigerators will outlive you and everybody in your house because <laughs> they were made in the 80s and they last. These new fangled refrigerators, I hear people complain all the time about them. But um, she's good, but she doesn't match all my other appliances. <laughs> So, but it's, it's all good. I'm thankful for her and I'll keep her as long as she's working. So, um, that's it for the haul. And I'm thinking that we're going to do our video. I've been promising you guys for weeks now. <laughs> we're going to do that tonight, probably out on our patio. So please join us. And I, and I hope you've been watching our Christmas tree chronicles. We're doing chronicles of the um, things on our Christmas tree um, that we add traditional. It's a tradition in our family to add something every year. And we have stories behind our ornaments. So watch our Christmas tree art chronicles shorts and you'll learn a little more about the Lawsons. 
Thank you for watching. We love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a blessed Saturday. Bye-bye.